of Kingston, Jamaica, moving off to the west this morning at about three miles per hour. We've seen the hurricane intensify overnight. Maximum sustained winds now around 165 miles per hour. So we're going to focus here first on the multiple life-threatening, you know, catastrophic level hazards we're expecting to see from Melissa uh, on the island of Jamaica. So right now we're expecting the center of uh, Melissa to turn northward and approach and make landfall along somewhere along the southern coast of Jamaica overnight tonight or early Tuesday morning as a powerful, you know, category five or category four hurricane uh, with the potential for um, you know, nine to 13 feet of storm surge inundation above ground level near and wherever to the right or near where the eye crosses the coast here on the southern uh, coast of Jamaica with the potential for destructive wave action on top of that storm surge. Near where the core makes landfall as well in the eye wall, we're expecting, you know, catastrophic wind impacts with total structural failure uh, near where that eye wall moves across the island, especially in areas of higher terrain. We could see complete uh, tree falls in the mountainous areas and just complete and total destruction of some uh, some structures in those regions. And if we look back at the rainfall totals here, expecting widespread rainfall totals of 20 to 30 inches with isolated totals of approaching 40 inches in some locations in Jamaica, leading to the potential or the ex expectation of catastrophic flash flooding, widespread numerous landslides likely. So people in Jamaica are already experiencing tropical storm conditions this morning. They should be in their safe place now, be prepared to shelter in place all the way through tonight, through much of Tuesday as the core of Melissa moves across the island, where there is obviously, as I, as I haven't mentioned already, a hurricane warning in place for all of Jamaica. Uh, if we zoom out a little bit and take a wider view, we still have a tropical storm warning in effect for the entire coast of Haiti, hurricane warnings in effect for eastern Cuba from Granma and Holguin eastward to Guantanamo provinces. So we are expecting Melissa to emerge off the coast of Jamaica during the day on Tuesday and then make landfall in eastern Cuba Tuesday night, move across eastern Cuba overnight Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and then move through portions of the central and southeastern Bahamas as we go through the day on Wednesday. So we are expecting dangerous hurricane conditions in eastern Cuba where the hurricane warning is in effect. Uh, expecting to see storm surge of six to nine feet above normal tide levels uh, near and to the right of where the center crosses the southeastern Cuba coast. Uh, hurricane watches in effect for the central southeastern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and also the expectation that we're going to see significant rainfall totals of um, excuse me, 10 to 15 inches isolated totals as high as 20 inches across eastern Cuba, resulting in, again, a potential for numerous uh, you know, catastrophic flash flooding in that area, and then farther north, uh, excessive rainfall in the Bahamas. And I don't want to leave out the, the rainfall threat that still exists here in portions of southern Haiti and the Dominican Republic, where we're expecting to see an additional 8 to 16 inches of rain for southern Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Could see some isolated storm totals in this area of as much as 40 inches as well. So the danger is not over there from this rainfall. So to wrap up with the key messages for you know catastrophic Category 5 Hurricane Melissa on this Monday morning, in Jamaica, do not venture out of your safe shelter. Catastrophic, life-threatening, flash flooding, numerous landslides are expected today through Tuesday. The wind threat is going to dramatically increase overnight and early Tuesday with catastrophic winds in the eye wall uh, where that comes on shore, potentially causing total structural failure uh, in those regions along the coast and also in areas of high terrain that experience the eye wall. Uh, Life-threatening storm surge, damaging waves are likely near and to the east of where the center crosses the coast early Tuesday. In Haiti and the Dominican Republic, that continued risk is there for catastrophic and life-threatening flash flooding, numerous landslides, especially across southwestern Haiti and the southern portions of the Dominican Republic. And that risk is going to continue into midweek. Uh, in eastern Cuba, heavy rainfall, life-threatening and potentially catastrophic flash flooding expected there. Uh, beginning today and continuing through the middle of the week, life-threatening storm surge and damaging winds expected Tuesday into Tuesday night. Preparations there should be rushed to completion today. And in the southeast Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, hurricane conditions and life-threatening storm surge, heavy rainfall are possible by Wednesday and residents in all these areas should be listening to any advice from the local government officials and their local meteorological service. So please come back here to hurricanes.gov throughout the next several days for the latest on Melissa. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.